Hey y'all, I'm with Jeannie Mai from The Real and the best vlog ever, and we are about to DIY these kinky Christmas boots for your holiday party. Keep watching! Hi, I'm Nicole Farr from Darby Smart, an app where we make DIY easy and fun. I'm being joined by all my creative friends. Some are expert crafters, and some are not. Get ready to make talk. Hey there, I'm with Jeannie Mai, Hi, and bye. it's almost holiday time. I know, it right, came so fast. So fast, Halloween, That's thanks, what she I'm full said. of turkey. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. I know, it was like a little, I'm still happy like, about it. Okay, go on. <laughs> got it. Okay, so I need to wear an ugly Christmas sweater, but I'm kind of anti, and so I started stalking the interwebs, right. and I found the kinky Christmas boots from you oh a my year God. ago, and you look so hot in them. So we Thank got you. Jeannie on the show, because we're gonna make our own version. Yes. Count on me guys for all the kinks. So here we go. We've got boots, Kay. we prepped them. So if you love your boots, these are actually like from Payless, but yep. um, you know, if you've got some fancy boots, why not protect them with saran wrap? Okay. Because glue will get on them and these will be like permanent kinky boots yes. otherwise, right? So we yes. wrapped them. Yep. So we've got these big red socks. Yes. And we are gonna slip them over the boots. Now, we actually have to help each other on this. It's, it's like Kay. harder than you think. Dude, girl power, let's right? do this. Right, girl power, so. Okay, I'm gonna hold the boot. And I'm gonna slip it on. All right. Thanks. Are we cutting the toe off of this? We are. Okay, later on. Yes. We didn't want to cut it first? We didn't want to cut it first because we want to see, you know, I mean, maybe we could have. We could try it on the other boot cutting it first. Yeah. I but mean, I haven't done I haven't done it that way. Okay. That'll be like Kinky Boot 3.0. Yeah. Okay. It's a little Great. a struggle, right? Great. Girl, I'm getting my workout in. So strong, got wine you know? over here. Got to burn some calories. Drink, craft, talk, workout. Okay, so I feel like this can pull up enough. I feel like we did. We did our over duty. An exuberant amount of fabric. Yeah. So I think we could actually cut it there and then just pull that rest down. Yeah. Should we prep Why? our other boot? Because it's your show and you do what you want. You roll them how you want to. That's right. Here we go. So if we want, yeah, kind of like a slippery sock thing. There. Yeah. Boom. You want to cut it? Yeah. Snap, snap. I want to cut it. Cut it. Okay, right. so now I'm going to cut it. Can I ask a really dumb question? And you will probably be able to answer because none of my friends have known the answer. Oh, God. Okay. Why is it that the right hand scissor I can cut with, but the left hand scissor I can't? It's the same. Does it know I'm not left handed? I'm trying to pose and use it? It does. The scissors are that smart. Wiki question. <laughs> Somebody in the comments below. Answer that question. Why can't right-handed people use the left-handed scissors? In their left hand. they're cutting it with their left hand. I'm done. Let's say something. Nicole, where are you at? Ooh, gorge. Okay, so I flipped the bottom, because um, that makes a yep. fake seam. Yep, okay. Oh, snake I like that. It? Yes, I right? love that. Okay, okay. Oh my god, we're making sock oh. condoms today on Darby Smart. <laughs> sock condoms. It's a dwarf. Oh okay, yeah. so then we can start decorating. We have like okay. bling bling all over here. I read all 25 of them. I want the 26. 25 things I don't know about you on Google. Did you really? Yes, oh, I that's did. so funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you have to go read them. They are so cute, including you. your hall pass. Oh, do you Anthony remember your hall? Bourdain? Yes. Is it still? Is he still your hall pass? All day, girl. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wait, don't, don't talk about him like that. He gets really sweaty in here. Anthony Bourdain is. He has life because he loves food. I love food. He loves Vietnam. I'm Vietnamese. He bought two houses in Vietnam. I could move there. My husband is aware of this. He's got Sofia Vergara. If something were to happen, we just look at each other. We're like, you do you, boo. You do got you. Got you. Yes, yes. We're meeting at Huli Leo Leo in San Francisco, and you were working the hall pass. A hundred percent, yes. Oh, he's delicious. I mean, you've got to have one too, right? It's, okay, and mine is so disgusting. And Wait, I think I need to update like he's, it. It's Johnny yucky? Knoxville. Oh, Wait, hold on. Okay, but I don't think he's disgusting. First of all, he's a good-looking bro. He's a good-looking bro. The I, second, but then, but then, like, you never know if his fingers are gonna smell like cow feces or like what's happening because yeah. he's just gross and random. Gross. Yes, he is a, a boy. But I will say, having married my man is like a super country outdoorsy guy. He always smells a little outdoorsy, like, like, because he works around like Working animals. And stuff. Yeah. I like that. So I get you. I'm with you. Get you. it? Yeah. You get it's it? not yeah. Too I just gross think it's weird. like the pranky stuff that's so funny. I feel like yeah. that'd be just like a fun no, night. No, that's not gross. Whatever. If you said you wanted to date somebody that you saw on like Catch a Predator or something, okay, then I would probably leave this set. <laughs> it's the man on FBI Wanted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Okay, okay, what are we doing next? We're doing the puff painting. Or yeah. Puff paint. Remember when it first came out? Yes. And like you would just puff paint everything, but you never got the memo to like wait for like 12 hours for it to dry. Have yeah, we updated this? So, no. <laughs> so we have Wi-Fi. We've sent people to the moon. Puff paint still takes 12 hours yes. to mofo dry. Yes. yes. Got it. Let's do this. <laughs> I think we could have a Christmas boot making party. Agreed. I mean, this is yes. delightful. More yes. people would want to do this. This would actually be a good like dating party. Like, okay, I don't know about you, but I have a ton of single girlfriends, and they're all like, I have a ton of single guy friends. I have, we, there, drink Nicole, and link. Yes. You bring your homies, I'll bring my hotties, get them to make boots together through their design and their ability to focus, ability to share yes. tubes yes. of glue and be nice and not got, get too tanked. It's the perfect way to find out how people really it's are. Matchmaking. Oh my God, it's amazing. And crafting. We have like a whole new business here. We should charge $5 at the door. And then a five dollars at the door and a speech at the wedding about Ooh, us. Yeah. If it makes sense. Yeah. So my dad had this genius thing when we were kids. We okay. both wanted tattoos. He said, as long as we came back one year later and said we wanted the exact same tattoo, and these tattoos were always like, I'd like a fairy on a cloud blowing bubbles because I'm 14. Yeah, right? right, right, right. As long as we wanted that same thing a year later, he would take us and sign the form and let us get a tattoo. And we never wanted the same thing. Okay. And I was like, that's good parenting. No, that's amazing parenting because had I done that, I wouldn't have gotten any of these tattoos that I have now. I like them, they're cool, but like, you always change your mind. Change oh my mind. God, we change, our, we change our Facebook profiles all the time. Like, are you kidding me? Like, yeah. how do you know what you're gonna, I love that. Dad, good job, that's a really good rule. Right? That actually reminds me of a wise little rule I have. Ooh. When it comes to buying something, especially like an investment item or a splurge item, like you walk into a Nordstrom or something and you see like a coat for like $800 and you really want it, you're not uh -huh. sure if you should get it, uh -huh. go to bed, think about it. If you still want it in a week, go out and get it. If not, $50. Really? Yeah. What about buying it there and returning it a week later? Do you feel like that works the same? Amazing and shady. I didn't know you even had that in you. I love it. No, no, no. no I'm just I kidding. Mean, I'm just kidding. Like no, I'm kidding. That was funny. <laughs> No, I, I love that idea. Um, it's just sometimes with more investment items, they don't let you return it as easily, so sometimes that happens. Oh, yeah. Um, but if, that, if, if you really are thinking about buying it, then what I do is, if you for any outfit or any piece out there that you want to buy, if you can imagine it's styled three different ways, so you're not just buying something that can only go with one thing, then purchase it because at least you have various oh. ways that will like entice you to wear it. You know what Styled I mean? Styled three ways. Yes. That's genius. So like this black dress, um, this is a, a must have because you can wear a white collared shirt under it or any patterned top. You can wear it with tights. You could also wear another skirt underneath it and have like a double tiered dress. So boom, that's can like a perfect piece. Can you come to my closet and play? I, can all we? day. <laughs> that's like where I live. I live in a closet. That's ridiculous. Can I, can I just tell you a tip I'm going to teach all of you guys because I just learned it? If you're gonna glue, what like I am, I'm gonna do a rim of um, diamonds and pearls and fun stuff here. So if you do the dot diamond, dot diamond, you're gonna lose because this is so ooey gooey, mm -hmm. fresh and fruity, so it's gonna have this line. So what I'm gonna do is squirt a little splooge right here. Oh yeah. Okay, and then, party people, I'm going to dip and then dab, mm -hmm. right? I know, yeah. you're welcome. Squirt, Folks. dip, dab. She's way smarter than she looks. Squirt, dip, dab. I love that. Oh my God, is that your wedding ring? Yeah. Shut up. He did a good job, huh? My husband um, designed my wedding ring and... Um, he I designed it? Yep. Ooh, like the setting is so original. Yeah. You've got the swirl going and yes, now you're going to make triangles? You. Yep, yep. I'm going to make um, put little fur triangles at the, at the bottom. How did you meet your husband? We went to school together and he was starting a company and he wanted me to be the marketing girl. And so I was the first I marketing girl. Oh, yeah. I love that. How did you guys meet? We met, oh my gosh, Freddie and I met actually because his mom introduced us. What? Yeah, it's so crazy. So you had like an automatic fan in your mother-in-law. Yeah. Which is like yes. awesome. Yes, it was so good. We don't have kids yet though, um, so I, I give it up to you guys for having kids. How many, did you say kids? Or twins. You They're two. Twins. Yeah. Did you know that you had twins in your? I knew I had twins in my family on my mom's side, but I wasn't really thinking like, and I too shall have twins. Just... Yes, I wonder how that worked. I don't know. I and... asked this because the other day, my mom, out of nowhere, after like 37 years of being my mom, she's like, "Oh, you know, I'm I had a twin. I I, I had a twin when I born." And I'm like, "What?" Well, this is helpful information. Yes, and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" So I think if it's right, if she didn't have twins. 
doesn't it mean I have a chance of having twins? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how it goes down. For the same like, person out there who's looking up why right-handed people can't use left-handed scissors, could you also Google whether or not I could possibly have twins if my mom was a twin? Okay, we have a lot of fun. They are the, yes. I have my boot. I have like mine too. gone this way. Okay, I okay, did yeah, stick explain my your boot. Wait, sharing time. Okay. Sharing time. I did stick my fingers in the puff paint. So it's, you know, this is just a melting snowflake okay. down here. Oh, yeah, I, I get it. That's what An I was thinking. Ombre look. Yep. And then I went double on that side. So I have like two sides of a boot. That's Let a me really see yours. Boot. Okay. I love these triangles. I went a little bit more Aztec. I mm -hmm. think tribal's kind of in. And I was picturing the person who's wearing my boot to also um, consider wearing them to Coachella because people wear crazy-ish in Coachella and you never know, they might just want a furry Christmas boot. So I went more Aztec and I decided to add gems around the rim. And then guys, the North Star is right there behind it. That's where you were going with that. Yeah. I, I love here. that. Let's see how they look together. Go. Let's see. Would you rock these boots? I would rock these boots. Yes! Good job! For your ugly Christmas sweater party? You're like the most stylish, ugly, Ugly what? Ugly person there, right? That, boom. Whatever. Oh my boom. god. Thank you so Yay. much for being on. Oh, I can't boy. wait to watch the reel online with my children. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I love that. Um, we'll come back another time. Okay. We'll do this like, well, we have so many things to yes. be doing. But yes. I think next is the Lincoln Drinking Boots, right? Boom. With our friends. And you yeah. bring your friend. I'll bring my friend. <laughs> we'll, we'll see the magic happen. This is the kinky Christmas boot, your version of the ugly Christmas sweater to pop at your holiday party. Yes. Steps are below. Supplies, like, just go on a Michael's haul and get it all. Um, comments below and share a pic of yours. We can't wait to see it. Yes, tag us. I really want to see what you come up with. Oh, we cannot wait. <laughs> happy, happy holidays. Bye. And she is teaching us how to make rainbow croissants. What croissant? How do you say it? I think it depends on how French you want to sound. Uh -huh. You could say okay. croissant, croissant, or croissant. Croissant. <laughs> Rainbow croissant. croissant.